Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Austin Code Cipher. Back again with a brand new video on web development. So what we are going to be looking at today is how to toggle the password visibility. And we are going to be using only HTML5, some small CSS, little CSS, sorry, and JavaScript. So on the right hand side is the example we are going to be doing today. So you let the user to see the password he or she has entered before signing up or before logging in so i'll type in my password so this is my password and if you are to see at the extreme right hand there is show password so when a user clicks it it has to show the password in text as you can see it's i love coding and notice also how the value changes on the button when a user clicks it it brings hide when i click on hide it again shows another text or value on the button so that's what we're going to be achieving today so i'm going to be taking you from scratch to end and i promise you it's going to be easy to handle and later on we shall be using how we shall be seeing how we can toggle this using the checkbox or radio button but for now we are going to be using this button hide and show hide and show so that's what we are going to be achieving behind the scenes i went and removed the code so when i refresh this page we should be having only this h2 heading toggle password security stroke visibility and down below here i'll write the form tag because every login page sign up page any form has to be in between this so this is the form for now we are not going to concentrate about the form this is where you can put the action and the action will be where a person has to go after clicking the submit button or login button and also the method which can either be get or post but right now we are not into that i'll go ahead and create my label and this will be enter password full colon so when i save this this is what we are having on our in our browser so i'll put an input element input i set the type to password and i'll give it an id you can name it anything because these IDs are user created, like a user can define them. My pass. So that's what we shall be targeting when we are calling in JavaScript. So when I refresh here, this is what we are having. Then below let me first write a comment this is what will toggle the password visibility so it's what will be toggling the password visibility i'll write again the input type which will be a button So check this when I put only that. It's just a button. So to add a text on it, you have to put the value. And I'll say show password. So 
so that's what we are having the value has added this and now we are good to go nothing will happen so that's what we want so far so good now i want when i hover over this button it should bring something like a hand so a pointer i will write some small css here so let me give this button an id so i will call it togo togo btn so short for button togo btn so as you know to target an id use the hash or pound symbol then i will say casa casa and i will set it to pointer on lower cases pointer and so far you see when i hover over the button it changes to some hand like cursor so now we are good to go let's switch to javascript and i'm going to use an inline javascript tag where you write in this style you can go ahead and put its type just says text strokes css that's it all so for the javascript i will first reduce or oh, let, let me leave it that font size so for the javascript you write the script tag script another closing script with some forward slash before the word script then you can also go ahead and put its type which is text stock javascript so far we are good to go now we set a function and this is also another user defined you can name it anything you want so long as it's valid so i'll say my password my password and i will create a variable also a variable is user defined i'll call it x equals document document dot get element by id so in double quotes remember we gave our password field an id of my pass so that's what we are looking for put here my pass that's the id we want and we also went ahead and gave this show the button the show password button an id which is togo btn so i will create another variable called var y equals document document dot get element by id double quotes and we shall paste that end it with semicolon so we are good to go then i will set a condition statement if so if x dot type is equal to password Double quotes. Open curly brackets. If x, if this, if this type is password. If the type is password, go ahead and change the type to say x type equals text as you can see we are good to go 
else so if it's not text you say x dot type equals password so when it's not text if if they find when they take the type is password they change it to text else when they find when the the type is already in text sorry it has to change to password so that's what we want let's go and save this run oh before running it we have to put this function before running this we have to put this function on the show button so bef after here right on click when a user clicks this on click they call this function my password so check out this when the user writes and does this to show the password you or she has written but what we want right now we want this text also to be changing on the button remember we gave our button an id which is a toggle button and we gave it a variable called y what we shall do here we shall say y dot value y dot value equals hide password and right here we shall say y dot value equals show show password semicolon save that so refresh when user writes they will show hide password when it clicks it it changes back so that's what i was trying to show you it's easy to do this is the only stuff you need to do just set ids to every input element then come and toggle it anywhere you want so guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have learned something if you have not learned something rewatch the video again and again so that you get to know what i was talking about and this is the only thing you needed to do easy so guys thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and i will see you later